okay good morning all uh, so the link that i posted in the chat box is of the github repository where i am actually keeping all the resources of this particular course as and how i managed to get some so it's not the entire collection as of now but i'll keep on adding things to that particular github repository so you can clone that repository at your end and uh, in timely manner you should do some sort of rechecking or uh, reorganization of that particular content by doing git checkout so if you do git checkout often you will get new entries or new collection back from the repository okay so rather than using drive i am preferring to use github for sharing this material of the subject so currently i'll just show you what all things are there currently so currently this repository so this is the landing page of the repository uh, you can clone the repository for by copying this http as thing i hope uh, comp as well as it student know how to clone a repository right uh, somebody just say if they don't know how to clone okay so no answer means everybody knows how to clone if you are not uh, knowing how to clone you just need to go to the repository landing page go to code copy this https address uh, open any uh, git client or a text editor and just write git clone git clone and press enter or you have a user interface you can use that as well if you are interested in using user interface you just need to clone the repository to have a local copy and whenever you want to sync with the repo remote repository you just need to uh, say git uh, checkout i guess yeah git checkout so git checkout will check out the original branch or the branch where you are in currently and then accordingly new entries will be added to your current repository so this is uh, the current content of the repository which has uh, This actually is external repository. I'm I'm not able to actually add uh, content from an external repository. I'll update this particular folder. So this is the content from a local author textbook. There are slides of all the chapter of that textbook. The textbook name I guess it will be somewhere in their uh, slides. So the author name is Nilakshi Jain. The book name is Artificial Intelligence, and it is from Ville Publication. it's not exactly the book which you have as uh, per your syllabus for it as well as com student but it will come in handy to learn stuff these slides which are there in this folder is the ones which we will be discussing during the lecture these are the slides from aima textbook that i had shared uh the aima textbook book is available online modern approach ai modern approach textbook is available online you just do google search for uh, artificial intelligence uh, modern approach pdf and you will get the copy of that that's why i have not kept it in this particular repository okay as far as possible i want to keep the material which is uh, um, going to be something that i am going to use in the lectures so book a uh, copy you can easily get okay so nevertheless uh, the recordings are also part of your uh, resources uh, which are available to you and you can easily get those things if you try to access them through your google calendar so if you go to your google calendar and the meeting uh, there are files which are shared along with the meeting because i'm maintaining the same link so you are going to get previously recorded sessions available over there you can click them and you will be able to access them using your domain mail address okay let us begin our discussion today so yesterday i told you that in first chapter where we will be looking at answering the question or understanding the question what is an ai we already know that there are four different ways to go about understanding what is ai two of them relate to being able to uh, be like humans in thought process or in the actions that you do and the other two are actually related to a uh, property called as rationality now this property rationality uh, is a different property than being human okay so being human may might not always be being rational we human beings are intelligent beings but we are not rational beings so what do you mean by rational that that is a thing that 
I, I guess uh, the other day I did not answer. Okay. I hope my voice is audible. By the way, I did not ask this question, which I should. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, so uh, let me know in any time uh, there is some abrasion in the voice because nowadays the internet is not consistent sometimes. So the word rationality uh, comes from the fact that whenever you are in a situation or in a uh, kind of uh, you are trying to solve a problem so you can you can think of this as so anything that you do where you are trying to mimic human beings uh, it will be better to actually consider that to be like an episode or a, like a sequence of event okay a certain event or a sequence of events if you view it like that it becomes easier so the abstraction that generally we will follow while discussion while discussing about these things uh, which are ai problems will be uh, um, pretty much most of the time we will be I, I will be actually using the word that uh, you are trying to enact the situation you are trying to act in a particular manner or a particular situation yesterday also i told you what do you mean by an agent so if you remember i had actually drawn something like a box and i said that agent is this box and there is something called as an environment okay which actually is continuously interacting with the agent Okay, so this is like also an event driven cycle. So something agent does on the environment which are called as actions. And then environment actually changes its state and that is reflected to the agent using some sort of things called as the sensory organs. So these are the sensory organs which give you and these things are referred to as percepts by the way. The signals are referred to as percepts and there are sensory inputs which are received by the agent. And then agent has something called as a thought process or something called as its own brain, I could say, if I want to uh, be very uh, non-technical. So it will have his brain, it will have his appendages, it will have his sensory organs. That is what an agent has. And agent always works in an envelope called as environment. This envelope is where the actions of the agent and uh, are going to impact the state of it. So the environment is part of the world wherein agent is there, okay, which is going to get impacted by the actions that the agent is going to impart. Jab aisa koi part hoga world ka, jo agent ke action se impart nahi ho raha hai, ya uska state change nahi ho raha hai, to shayad environment ka part nahi ho sakta. So a world, uh, there, there could be a uh, lot of things in the world, but there are only few things we refer to them as environment as far as when we talk about an agent is concerned. So agent and its environment, they together work as single unit. So environment tells or dictates agent, okay? And the environment states are what agent is trying to manipulate using his action, okay? And he is surveilling or he is doing a surveillance of that state through the sensory inputs that he, is, he has. Okay, so if I consider this as a model, then what we are trying to do when we are trying to uh, enact an uh, episode or an event is we are doing something called as an event calculus. So agent is imparting something, sensing what has happened due to that, uh, due to that act, uh, due to those actions, and then he decides, and that decision is what the agent is doing. So it is uh, somewhat now you can relate to whatever we are doing to certain basic theoretical understanding. One is closed loop control, okay, so control theory. And the other thing is, so this is like a closed loop control. You are actually having some sort of an interaction, continuous interaction with environment. The other thing is that you are going to do certain thought process, so reasoning, logical reasoning, some sort of uh, representation of the previous uh, episodes that you had with the environment. So if I did this action and this happened and I did that action and that happened. So you, we always remember these things, right? Pichli bar mein aise kiya tha, to aap aise bole the. Sir, is bar aap kuch alag bol rahe ho. We always have such arguments done. Why we are able to do such arguments? Because we remember those experiences. How we remember those experiences? Everybody has different ways of remembering them. Okay, so that means we encode those experiences into our mind. And that encoding is generally referred to when we talk about agents, we'll focus more on that is called as, as especially we'll talk about whenever we talk about logical reasoning agent, there we'll talk about that, that it is referred to as KB, KB stands for knowledge base. So normal structured data we store in uh, database, 
we have now nowadays uh, things stored in uh, no sql databases like a big table or something like that and when we store uh, some higher order or higher order representation of information which may be structured which may be unstructured so there are various ways in which i can organize knowledge into a knowledge base okay so depending on what choice of representation i choose i may have different implementations of knowledge base but the thing that i am storing is not just the information or it's not just the data but it is knowledge so that's why i refer to it as knowledge base okay now how do i store what are the mechanisms to store how do i uh, gain a knowledge in a situation all that we are going to learn in chapter number 4 but right now you just need to understand that what we are striving for we are striving for being able to design machines or artifacts that can show abilities that generally human show the thought process the thinking abilities the action abilities or acting abilities uh, these we are striving for and on the other hand as i told i was explaining earlier we are striving for not just being able to work or think like humans but more so think rationally or act rationally so now what the word rationally means so rationally means uh, to optimize the benefit that you are reaping so as i told you when i am talking about an agent and his interaction with the environment the agent should always do those actions if he has a choice of actions the one that give him maximum benefit now this is a bit kind of tricky because you don't know out of two actions that you chose now which action will be more beneficial in this sequential interaction that you are having in future okay so it's not that easy question to answer which action today will reap me maximum benefit tomorrow okay maybe uh, there are two actions uh, one action is to sleep and the other action the action is to listen to the lecture okay now uh, some of you might feel that listening to the lecture right now is going to be more beneficial or it is going to give you more insights into the subject and all but some of you might also feel that listening to the le lecture might confuse you because i don't know from where this guy has studied his subject and from where he is actually teaching the contents i can refer to easy solutions on the just day before uh, my paper and still i can score good marks so i need not study i can sleep so there are two choices you have and maybe for some people studying on the last moment might be better option and for some people studying regularly might be better option so there are ways uh, that we as human being might interpret things differently and we might not always choose the alternative that is going to be assuring us the maximum benefit okay so if given the entire set of knowledge that the agent has or that particular ai has for now we are not talking about agent but we are talking about in general an ai as a system so if there is an ai system and that ai system given choices always chooses an alternative that gives the particular ai maximum benefit then such ai is referred to as rational ai okay then such ai is always referred to as rational ai and that's why this distinction is made because human beings are not rational beings they are intelligent but they are not rational so there is a distinction between being intelligent that is being able to take your own decisions by your own will and being able to take your own decisions by your will but making assured that those decisions are optimal choices that you have is being rational so that's the distinction between being intelligent and being rational so intelligent beings take their own decisions based on their own will so there is no uh, kind of uh, influencer that actually influences the decision okay they might have their experience to influence the decision so you might say that there is no influencer sir but then there is uh, that experience you told about which is stored in knowledge base yes that is going to influence your current decisions obviously any a agent agent types that we talk we'll talk about in future you'll find that the experience that is stored in knowledge base governs the current actions okay but that is not an external influencer this is one that you created right that you chose to store okay so you got multiple percepts coming into you as an ai system from those percepts you encoded the information that was coming to you 
and you stored it in terms of some past experience about this situation into a knowledge base. Now this you are going to utilize for taking a better decision than what you did earlier. So that is what the human thinking or human nature actually a human uh, what you can say intelligence is built up as from the childhood till you get tired of thinking tired of acting that is you get dull okay so every human being every now and then have this kind of way of going about showing off his intelligence in different kinds of scenario that he persists in or he gets into okay so now the uh, thing is that the textbook advocates ye, ye book ke slides hai to unhone explain kiya hai that textbook advocates the style or the ai definitions that fall into the category acting rationally ye char kya hai ye char categories hai definitions ke jab bhi logo ne ai pe research karna chalu kiya ya ai systems develop karna chalu kiya they set forth in front of them certain goals some of them set forth the goal that i want to devise systems which can they make humans thought process some of them actually put forth a goal that i want to develop uh, de- develop machines or ai which is going to act like a human in a situation what what will human do they will try to do similar kind of nature or similar kind of things now when i said uh, some of them actually kept a goal of generating or creating uh, systems that think rationally they are actually trying to create better humans or better thought processes than the usual human thought processes would be there so they were uh, having a similar kind of goal that is i want to replace the thought process but i don't just want to replace the thought process of human beings but i want to make them rational again this kind of things would be more appropriate when you are coming to uh, the application areas where you are actually creating a driver less car okay because being a rational would be more appropriate for a driverless car because you are actually uh, needing to be more secure more robust and humans tend to get frightened and tend to get suboptimal when it comes to difficult situation okay maybe i am developing a robot that is controlling a space vehicle that is uh, about to different galaxies okay then that kind of uh, that kind of uh, intelligent software which is governing the journey maybe we are not controlling it from the ground but we want that particular software to control the journey then that particular software needs to be rational it has to weigh different alternatives that it has okay and then it would be better to have a rational being over there than that the thought process that it is uh be showing off should be more 